Hey everybody, it's me, Gail Sue, ready to do some more coloring. Why I bought all sets that get colored on my first order, I don't know. <laughs> but we're coloring again, but very easy coloring. So I want to show you how fast and easy it is. So I also pulled in happy labels. I used the Yay new cane weave 3d and then of course my two favorite sets stylish shapes and deckled rectangles and i believe that was it so let's get started hey betty and melanie penny betty uh, patricia leslie deborah gina hi gina uh and samantha hope you're all well hi lisa okay so and carol hey carol nancy if i didn't say nancy and judith i don't know who i said and who i didn't i'm so tired okay that's card number whoa card number one i'm gonna lift this up you know, I remember having a remote to this thing. Maybe that's a better way to do it, if I should find it. <laughs> find it. Yeah. So, this is from Celebrate Everything. Let's put that center in. Get that out of the way. Bam. And actually, I could put this down too. Okay. So, first one is the birthday goosey. Silly Goosey. And right about there. Okay, so light smoky slate and the color lifter to start out with. All right, so you know that under the wings, there's going to be shadow. And then a little bit, put a little bit on the wing there, a little bit on the tail, a little bit under there. Not a lot, just want to throw it into a few spots. Then take your color lifter, kind of like what we did the other day. And just blend it out and lighten it up. That little cute butt and then a little bit more maybe I can get some from here like where the hand is holding the balloon all right then we're gonna do the balloon in balmy blue so dark
and then the light. And that in, and then it's going to lighten up a little bit as it dries. Then we have the Mango Melody. So just a little bit in the feet. Oh, and I think I did the Pom Pom. That's only getting the one. It's too small. Okay. And then... We've got pineapple... Uh, granny apple green. <laughs> Let's see, which did I do? Okay, because that's yellow up here. So I started with the green, and I'm not doing two colors in there either. It's too small. And then the dark daffodil delight. Oh, yeah. And then the light granny apple green. Or maybe. No, I didn't use that. I think I used this. Dark soft sea foam. And a lot of times I do two colors here. But I didn't. I just used the one. Oh, maybe I did use a different one. <laughs> but that's fine. See, it doesn't matter. You can fake it and use whatever you want. So this one is going to say, Silly Goose told me it's your birthday. I can't tell if I'm straight. And all the measurements are in the description. But they're all kind of normal. This is an eighth bigger than what the uh, die cuts it out. And you could pop this up if you wanted. I just wanted to keep them fast and plainish. And I didn't even put decorations on them. So there's card number one. All right. Card number two is this one. Oh, this is where I use the light. It really doesn't matter. go there too. All right, so we're going to take these two little fist bumpers. So this could, um, like a congratulations card, even the yay, you know, yay, congratulations. We done did it. Okay, so same thing. You could even use um, gray granite, or you can use, um, if you wanted the geese to be a little yellow, use light saffron. 
I just was keeping them all, you know, on the white side. Uh, yeah, I got that right there. Wrong side. Squeak, 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 squeak. I'm sure you got this down pat already. Okay, and then Mango Melody. I mean, you could color in the background, but it's not always necessary to make a whole scene. Oops. You know what happens when I say oops. So we're going to push that back. Well... Hopefully, there's not too much gray on it. Okay, and then, you know what? Since I did the other one with that, I'll use the light granny apple this time. which is starting to dry out. So I think I'm going to use both. is so noisy okay then we're going to take that little stamp that says goosebumps and bowie bowie carefully i'm going to put it right in between there we hope. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. Just bought some Diet Coke. Penny, lay off the Coke. It's not good for you. Okay, then I put this at like a little slant, which is out of the box for me. And I stamped PA. Right there. My friend is poisoning herself with Diet Coke. If it can clean your toilet, think of what it does to your insides. Just say it. So there's card number two. Now, yesterday I had myself, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Bloody Mary. Ooh, it was good. Oop. There's the card. And yes, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to fluffy cut it. <clears throat> I'm going to wait on that and do the Where'd I put it? Oh, it's up there. Okay, so there's going to be some shading there. There. We'll put some there. Oh, that's right. I did something a little different on this one. I'll come back to it. All right. So what I did is I brought it in from the sides a little bit on this one. Oh, I have to do up there too. Just to give them more of like a, a belly. Steal from the rich down here, give to the poor up here. Okay, then the mango again. Yeah, that's the dark. OK, 
Okay, and then I took <clears throat> the light pale papaya. And this time, I am going to use the, because it's newer, and I can. I think I need a little bit more up here. Alrighty then. Okay, it's cut out. And I left a little bit of a border. I almost said, whoops. That's a wavy border right there. And then there's one thing I forgot to do on the other one. And once you glue it, it's too late. Okay, so cut up into there. Oh, puppy must have given his paw something because I hear Bob going, Good boy, good boy. I need a sip. Okay, there's too much around his head. Oops. So he gets glued right onto there. Now this one, Forest Friends. That's for the inside. Penny, you never get into trouble. Somehow, I don't know about that. Somehow.
Now, the only reason I really popped this up was because of the ribbon. All right, let's put the center in. Oh, la dee da la dee dee <clears throat> Now I got to show you what I did. It's craft related, but not not card related. Okay, this is some old, might not be that old, um, embroidered ribbon. Embroidered ribbon. I need a better scissor than that. All right, so I'm going to put um, Trim that one and trim this one. Add some bobbles if you want. And that's card number three. All right. Card number four. I like this one. All right, let's get rid of the white piece. I just filled this glue so it's like, because when you squeeze it, it wants to keep coming and coming and coming. Now, the trick to like, especially a folder like this, so it doesn't get uneven is Cut it larger, so cut it the five and a half by four and a quarter, and then trim it after you put it through the folder. Uh, that's the wrong side. That's the right side. Come on, Gail, you're putting it in the wrong spot. I want it on the high spots, and I'm hitting the low spots. I'll take the high road, and you take the low road. So this is the new paper um, by the sea. Woo, that was pretty good. So this is, these come six by six, and I cut it at three, so you can get two cards out of one piece. Genius. <laughs> okay. 
So let's get this little swimming, swimming ducky. Oh, I should have stamped that before I glued it. Oh, it might be a little ripply. We'll find out. Okay, so again, we're going to start with our lightest colors under the hat. We'll do by the schnoz again, just a little over there. Some under the frog. Mm. We'll do some here. Ha ha. Ha ha. Now it's closer, you can see any boo-boos as I make them. All right. They never look good until their beak is done. So let's do the beak. Ow! I pinched my finger. Mikey bit my finger. Oh. All right. That was the dark. I did the light first. But not to worry. It blends. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the other color. All right. So for this... That's the dark. So really, for these little dots, you don't have to do two colors. But I'm gonna anyway. What the hey? And then we need Daffodil Delight. So here's the dark. So the dark is going to go around the ducky. Now you can go around like all the individual circles if you really want to be perfectly correct. Nah, we ain't going there. We're going to bring it in from the sides and then just make like the sun is hitting there. Some of this up in here. And I'm just doing them the dark. And then 
Hello. Green. And I think I'll make this green. And then sweet sorbet. And again, you can do that just the one color if you want to. Oh, I forgot little froggy. We can't forget froggy. And then I just took and did a black dot for those two flowers. All right, let's do froggy and then the water. So, of course, he's very small. So, we're just going to make, you know, a couple dark dots in a couple spots. And the rest we're going to blend in with the light. I mean, if you wanted to make little dots on them, you could. And then... No biggie. Anybody can do it. My desk got dark. I don't know why. Weird. Weird, weird. I tell you. I think I'm going to pop this one up. I didn't do the other one, but, but we're going to do it. You talk me into it. Good. So the only problem, yeah, so we're going to do that on a strip. I think this one will fit. Yeah. You've got a friend in me. Boop, 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 boop. See, never panic. Um, how do I want to do it? All right, so I think I'm going to 
fishtail it and see how it looks. It's fine. Um, let's do this. And I'll pop that up too. Okay, so that's card number four. So that's stamping it straight and not lifting it. That's lifting it and stamping it on the thing. It does step it up a little bit. Still an easy card. Same coloring. We're just stepping it up a drop. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up a little bit. So I got a <clears throat> new sewing machine and... Other than sewing a few things, when I was first married, when kids were small, I had a, I think it was a Sears machine. And um, yeah, I haven't really sewn since high school. So my first project, <laughs> so you know these rags that, that I use. So it's a big one. So I had to test myself. I had to do the bobbin and, you know, all that stuff. So I just cut it in quarters and then, you know, did a little hems on them. So, yeah, straight sewing. But what I really wanted to do, and you'll see the, the mess up in a second. I didn't iron it down yet. But I made a hanging towel. But here's where I messed up. I thought I turned them right sides together, but I didn't. So... Oh, yeah, and I can't make a buttonhole yet because the button, like it has an automatic thing, the button is too big to fit in that thing. And I don't remember how to make a buttonhole the old way. Like, I just don't. So I could do a snap or whatever. But what I'm going to do is put it that way. So I think I'm going to get Velcro or, or a snap for this one and then do it to the back. And then you won't have to see that I, you know, faux pod. But isn't that fun? Yeah. So, multi-talented. So, let me bring these back. <laughs> I'm so proud of my towel, even though I messed it up a little bit. And where's the other one? This one. So, there they are. Silly gooses, just like me. Just like me. Right up my alley. And, uh, and yeah, they're easy to do and it's a fun set to have. So that's it for tonight. And I will be back on Wednesday with Velcro works on the towels. All right. I'm going to get some, maybe I did get some, maybe I didn't. I don't remember anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'll be back on Wednesday with, you know, my motto. I don't know what, but. It'll be something. See y'all then. Good night.